Hi, everyone. I'm Tasha Troy. Um, I'm a founder of Tackle. And um, I flew to LA last night from San Francisco. I was just talking to a few people that this is my very first time in tech conference in LA, and um, people are better looking. That's what I was telling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So yeah, um, I want to... I want to start with this story. Um, I clearly remember back in the days when I was working at a consulting farm, I was sitting in front of my computer, getting frustrated because I could not find this, this damn um, research paper that I really needed um, to build another research paper. And then, um, and then no one knew, like no, no, none of my coworkers knew how to do it. Um, so I posted on my Facebook actually um, guys, do you have any idea how to access to this research paper? And surprisingly, uh, within two hours, I got the paper and I was thinking, wow, this is so much better. It's just, there's so many people out there outside the company who have access to a lot of knowledge base, who can get things done fast. And then it's going to be really awesome if we can just reach out to them and talk to them, work with them whenever we need. Um, so I was wondering if that happened to anyone else. Um, do you want to raise hand if you ever posted question on Facebook, Twitter, anything, Quora, whatever that is, when you have the question? Yep, that is a lot for sure. So this type of new communication tools definitely bring us new way to collaborate and interact with each other. And they definitely allow us to access to bigger, uh, greater pool of great talents out there. Uh, this is more flexible way to communicate with each other, and it doesn't really limit any topics either. Depends on what you want to work on, you can reach out to different groups. So, um, excuse me. So these new connectivity is definitely allowing us this greater access to bigger talent pool. For example, product designers can use a lot of different customer base to get, to get feedback for their product design, and then they can quickly apply that to their uh, product design. Or plants can use online platforms uh, to, to use the bigger, uh, bigger pool of suppliers online. So this applies same to human resource. So what we want to do tackle here is uh, we are definitely one, we are creating this uh, connection between graduate students and companies to work together to solve tomorrow's problem together. Basically, when we see these contributors of greater greater pool of talents, uh, we can see this pool of talents are so diverse from uh, from moms at home, staying at home, uh, who holds master's degree, who didn't have a chance to go out and work, who had to cancel their work, and then to um, and then to this nerd who's really passionate about their coding, or to this child prodigy who's really passionate about what they want to achieve. They are all in this greater pool of talent and ready to uh, utilize their talent. So Tackle is utilizing um, similar concept with these uh, companies. Um, Calcul is using a uh, greater talent pool for data analytics. Also, Quirky is doing the same thing for product ideas and product designs. GrabCAD is doing the same thing for 3D designs, and local motors are doing, um, doing the automotive parts. So we were thinking, why can we do it just for research and science? So we created this tool, um, to an uh, online platform that connects, uh, that connects graduate students and companies together. So basically what we do is we bring a uh, different project business research challenges from different companies and connect them to community of graduate students. This way, we're basically providing greater pool of talents to companies and, uh, and more opportunities to graduate students. And companies can do things a lot cheaper than they would normally do um, with consulting firms or research firms, and then they can get things fast, they can work with top talents and discover talents early on. And also, graduate students can build their work history and um, network with industry professionals, and then they can also uh, potentially make some money for their expertise. When we are planning the service, we 
wanted to make sure that Tackle is the place where companies, and companies come and solve the actual sophisticated problem. Uh, in order to do that, we had to make sure that our talent pool are qualified enough. So we wanted to look at graduate students. So the number of graduate students in America is huge. There are three million uh, graduate students um, as of 2013. And then out of them, 600,000 students are in science and engineering. So it's a huge pool, and then plus, there are new ones coming in every year. So this means this growing pool of talent uh, who has uh, deep knowledge of, uh, in their field, and then extensive, their research, uh, extensive research experience, or just keep growing. So we decided to utilize them. And then we also wanted to have some gamification factor to encourage and engage students to do their best until they end the project. So we adopted competition, and we ad adopted ranking system and point, point elements as well to make, to make it exciting and engaging. So we are actually uh, hosting our very first project um, in two weeks with data visualization company, and then we are working really hard on hosting more projects in the future. And then also we are uh, collaborating with universities, uh, usually with career centers, to uh, provide more opportunities to graduate students. And one of them happened to be um, USC, which is in LA. So seems like we keep coming back to LA uh, more and more. So um, I'll see you guys more and more. And um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what we've been working on. And that we really believe that crowdsourcing, um, that allows us to have greater access to this global brain pool uh, will change the game how things actually work in the future. Currently, um, when I talk about Tackle, a lot of people ask me questions like, oh, so is this sort of like a recruiting tool that connects two sides up? Well, my answer is yes or no, because um, it is yes from uh, current, uh, present, perspective because it is a great way for companies to work with top talents and discover talents um, early on for a hiring purpose, but um, it is probably no from future perspective because we really truly believe that crowdsourcing will change the way how work is getting done and then that's what Tackle, that's what tackle is about. So um, we, of course, um, there are some core uh, functions and the organizations will remain the same and work uh, in the same format. But we really think onboarding or hiring might not be the only way to keep the talent um, in the company or in the team. There are gonna be a lot of different ways to work with, with top talent. So uh, in that sense, we are changing the way how work is getting done. So we are more of the new way to get things done instead of a recruiting platform. So um, this is what we are doing, and then uh, we're really uh, excited about building this pool of greater talent, and that we want to really grow this into something that can change the game um, in terms of in terms of a lot of business processes. So we're excited, and we really um, want to build this, create this work culture of everyone has more opportunities and those opportunities are more visible so that everyone has more freedom to, to choose what to do and what, to, what, uh, what not to do um, eventually. So that's what we are working on and that's, that is what we are trying to make with Tackle. Thank you. Thank you.